All right, how's it going guys? David with Worldwide Golf Shops. Here at the Golf Mart Del Mar, I'm with Harry, Pro Equipment Manager for Wilson Golf. Harry, we're looking at the Dynapower Irons. Yeah, so this is our new Dynapower iron. So back in the day in the, in the mid 50s, this is the iron that revolutioned uh, golf. So they did some magic with the hosel by eliminate weight okay. and then pushed it all the way out on the toe. Right. What we've done with this, we've done somewhat of a similar transition with pushing weight towards that toe okay. for better ball speeds, but also eliminated the weight in that hosel and then placed it down and back in, in, the, uh, in the iron. So it gives that a little bit easier okay. chance to get in the air, sure. a little bit higher launch, but comes down with a better trajectory, right? So the descent angle is gonna be steeper sure. to stop those greens. So when you ever you hit those greens, because of that descent angle, we don't want it to be coming in bit too steep. Right. Because it's gonna be hitting those greens and rolling off. Yep. With a better descent angle, it's gonna be holding those greens, which means better strokes gained, yep. which means you're gonna be on the green, you're gonna be putting more, putting more, yeah. lower scores. Absolutely. All right, well, how's how has the feel been? And the look the look is great. Yeah, so what what we've got, we've got a little bit more of an offset for those handicaps that sure. need it. However, it's one of those ones that you can really go after this club because of the weight is on that toe you can go after it and it will hold and hold that face and when you get to that uh impact zone it's going to be square okay really 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 uh well uh, what i like about it so when you look at it when you look down it's not so much offset that is like uh yeah, well, I, I don't want it yes so you good it's a good combination of two and then you got the lead and edge which we've actually gone a slightly thinner compared to the D9. Okay. Uh, to give that a little bit more of a player profile by not alienating. So for me, I've actually got a Dyna Power in the top end of the bag. Right, of course. Because I want a little bit higher launch, easier, very high MOI, so incredibly forgiving. Yeah, that's smart. And then we incorporate the uh, power holes. Right. So you've got your power holes in there uh, where that allows you to have ball speed pushing out of the heel and toe and that middle. So okay. a combination of power holes, the weight towards that toe and that low CG location just gives that pop. And it gives you the distance back yeah. that you've always wanted. So give it a, give it a whack, see, right. what, see what you got. A little low maybe? A little low off the face. Still felt solid though. Yeah, that's what, that's what we like about it. It's, it's a solid feeling club. It's a little bit, it's obviously going to be stronger lofted, but you're not coming in really like a bullet. Of course, yeah. Unless you want it to go low. Yep. But if you hit it normal, it's going to be that high, high launch. There we go. So we have that high launch in there. So it's just going to, you're going to maximize that distance, but still launching it at the area that you want it to be. Of course, yeah. You know what, it's kind of funny. It does have, I wouldn't say it's a soft feel. Like it's got some feedback and firm isn't the right word either, but I feel like I, I've got a good sense of where I'm hitting it on the face even, yeah. where some irons like this in this category might just be so soft that you really don't feel anything and you just don't really know. 100% and where you're hitting it on the face matters, right? Right. And that's where we've reinforced with the ball speed and power holes and the CG locations. You can spray it all over the face, but you're still getting maximum distance, right. higher launch. So really, it's kind of like a cheat club. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right, one more. I want you to hit one of those low stingers now. All right. Now, obviously, this is a seven iron, so you yep. can only hit it. Got to keep it low. Exactly. So yep. with that, with that seven iron loft, you can hit it. You can do whatever you want with this club. That's what the beauty about it. There you go, there's your squeeze low, yeah. low shot there. So with that mass pushing on the toe, with the low CG location, and then marrying it up with those power holes, it's kind of like that magical cheat yeah. club that everyone needs. And I've certainly put it in the top end of my bag right. just because I need that more forgiveness up top. Now course, other golfers yeah. need it across the bag and that's what this this allows you to do. Yeah, I mean, for a full, for a full set of somebody that needs a club like this, I mean, it's gonna be so like, 
being able to hit them low, high, expecting kind of the same result every time and that same type of feel is huge for a better player that might need it, you know, at the top of their bag, much like you do, to have that stopping power with those long yeah. irons, maybe a little more distance. Yep. Um, that could be a game changer for a lot of people. 100%. Too. Absolutely. Well, guys, as always, make sure to stop in at your Worldwide Golf Shop retail location. Get fit for the new Dynapower irons.